I know, I know. I know, I see it, I see it. This is the... Right there. Oh, I got you. Oh boy, wow, okay, yeah. Yeah. It's really glued. This one I fell, I landed on this one, but this is the one I broke. Uh -huh. So they're both kind of... Hold yourself above the table. Yeah, hold yourself there a little bit. Mm -hmm. Upper back, neck, ankles, and jaw. And you busted your ankle? I fell down the stairs and I broke this one. I broke it here, there, uh, so two here, there, and the heel. Okay. Did they, how long ago was this? Was it? it was in October. October last year? Yeah. And did they went to the hospital? What did they do? So they I got... I got the boot. The boot. I didn't have surgery because it was like it was a really long break all the way up here, mm -hmm. but I didn't need surgery, so I just stayed with the boot for a while and I wrapped it. I had okay. crutches, scooter, all that. How does it feel to move it around now? Is it just pretty stiff? It, still, it's or? pretty stiff. Like, but they both cracked. But this one's the one that broke. But they're, it's pretty stiff because I also hurt this one. But I can move it. Just it's quite stiff, and sometimes it cracks a lot while I walk, so I have to keep on like repositioning it. Is there any pain anywhere when you move the ankle? Um, if there were to be, it would be on here and on the side because this I had the break all the way up to like here. Okay. So we'll go in there and clean that out. And we'll okay. check it out. Yeah, and I sometimes get pain underneath the foot. But okay. Yeah. All right, and then you said jaw also. Tell me where. Tell me about. That. Uh, usually like here, it like clicks when I'm like eating or whatever. Okay. So sometimes I just have to like massage it. Like. Sure. It, it sure. Hurts, sure. So, okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll go over that in a minute. I want to look at your posture for a second because the okay. sort of the, the jaw, the neck, and the upper back are all sort of one machine. Yeah, so over here it like... Yeah. Right. The more forward your head goes, the more the jaw is jammed, the more you're going to have tension in your neck and shoulders. They're all sort of in one unit together. Okay. And then, so go ahead, let me have you stand up for me. This left shoulder's a little high. I'm just going to look at you here for a second. You're fine. Let me see here. Left hip's a little high. Okay, you're fine. I'm just going to keep looking at you. There we go. Not awkward at all. <laughs> yeah, the head's about an inch forward from your... So the ear hole, it's called the external auditory meatus, should line up with the center of your shoulder. And every inch the head goes forward, the muscles have to double their workload in the neck. And typically from a young age, we're spending too much time round forward. Over, yeah. Our body locks into that position because of the amount of time we spend there. So a lot of what we're going to do today is trying to soften your spine and then the long-term care is to then actually mirror image stretch you to bend. I do crack with this, so I can like pull it back and it just cracks. If this opens up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good feeling. Well, right. So the, <laughs> you'll, from being forward, the actual ribs will start to ride up onto the sternum, and that's what you're, you know, feeling click all the time yeah. is from, you know, that that compression on the front and then subsequent opening it up. If our if your posture was more upright, we shouldn't have that, you know, you shouldn't even be able to because the alignment should be correct. Okay. But because you know, school and driving and life, that posture being forward keeps that joint jammed and then you're opening and shutting yeah. that joint. So have you been adjusted before? Never. Never been adjusted? No, 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 no. I crack my own back though. Any soft tissue work? Have you had any massages or? Yeah, but they're never hard enough. Not, not hard enough. Yeah. All right. <laughs> First. First shot here. All right, let's go. In. Have you start on your back. You're gonna take one deep breath in for me, and then lay your head back for me, and then let all the air out. There you go. Deep breath in for me, and then head back for me. Let all the air out. I got you. Deep that breath in. So good. <laughs> let it out. Here we go. Chin down a little bit. Nice. You're doing great. You're doing great. There you go. You put your hands around your belly. I'm gonna turn your head towards me a little bit. Uh, okay. Perfect, there we go. Take a deep breath in for me. We're gonna stretch for a second. Exhale, there you go. They're already moving, there you go. Deep breath in, one more. Exhale. All right, let's head, oh yeah, a little tight. Deep breath in. Exhale. Yeah, deep breath in, there we go. Exhale. Good, all right, face up for me, you good, good? I've waited my whole life for aww, this. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> a little out to the right here, like that bump right there. Yeah. Maybe sticking out a little bit more. So it's like the our bones are over to the right, mm -hmm. meaning that your head prefers left tilting. And over time, if we t 
tilt too much to I the left. I think it's usually because I carry heavy stuff on this hand because I'm right-handed. I See? think I think I put heavy stuff on here, and then I have to like sort of like right. I don't know maneuver around. I right, think it might be that. And then what happens is over a long term, you're too young right now, but you know into the 40s, 50s, people wear out their lower neck because the head's not on straight, and so we want to help get your alignment fixed so that long term your spine ages evenly. Okay. I got your head back around. I won't. Everybody walks out of my office. Nobody's stuck here. Huh? There we go. Deep breath. There you go. That was so good. <laughs> Did great. Did great. All right. Same thing. I got your head. Let me have your head. I got you. Let me hold it. There you go. There you go. Nice. Uh, fireworks. That's so good. <laughs> Right. So if we don't address the soft tissue, we can't get the deepest level of adjustment. Sometimes you only get the easy ones mm -hmm. if you just adjust first. and Because it's all tight, right? Right, so the, the, the tightness in the muscle prevents getting the joint fully shut. And so in order to start stretching people, or if you don't stretch people, it doesn't really matter, but if you mm -hmm. want to change someone's posture, you, be, you better be sure you got the spine loosened up and moving optimally and fully. Otherwise, you can't, you know, really get much depth on the stretching. Uh, the, all the joints in your spine have to equally participate so that we can stretch safely and stretch to a depth to actually change your posture. Do you notice this little click up here? Can you feel that? Oh, I feel yeah, right there. I feel so good. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> it's like a good thing. There's, on the right side of your neck, there's an injury, and what happens is it creates the, your sort of favoritism to tilt left. You want to get away from a favorite side. Well, one side that's injured. So the right side has an older injury, and then our body sort of becomes accustomed to leaning away from it. Mm -hmm. And again, going back to if we stay with this alignment that's off, nobody really cares until the left lower neck wears out, right? Mm -hmm. We. we so it's best prevent it from happening. Preventatively, we need to get the upper neck on the right moving. Your head loves tilting left. Yes! <laughs> no! Yeah, I feel There's that. a restriction yeah. to tilting you to the right. And real quickly, there's a... Right? Feel that little knob right there? Mm -hmm. That is a old scar, and it healed in a ball, like yarn, all tangled. And very quickly, when you watch this, you'll... you know. Not that much pressure, right? Just pretty, pretty, yeah, pretty soft. soft. And right there, you can. Is it turning off? Yes. <laughs> You're already in a purple mark. You're already in a purple mark, and it's just over time as we progress through this type of care. Eventually, nothing happens. All the, other than the skin becomes sort of flushed, pink, and hmm. then there's no dark mark. When you see this dark mark, that's the internal struggle, the and lactic acid, like blood. blood flow to wash it all out, wash out the soreness. So internally, there's metabolic waste mm -hmm. from the muscles, they actually produce an exhaust called lactic acid and the whole purpose of breathing is to get oxygen into the tissue to bind to that lactic acid to form carbon dioxide and water and that's what we're trying to do by combing the tissue. We're driving oxygen from the blood into the tissue to bind to that lactic acid. That's what you're seeing is the toxins that have been trapped in here and then like I said as as you progress through this type of care when there's no lactic acid in here, mm -hmm. there's no mark. So it's only, it directly correlates with what you can feel as a sensation of soreness. I can feel it as tangles. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. I think that's the easiest way to explain it is like it's waste in mm -hmm. your body. Yeah, it's, it's no it's of no benefit. It has to be cleared bound, out. conjugated, and cleared out. That's right. Yeah. Well, that is more intense than the other side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the left side will be the abuse side. So, yeah, this is probably your overworked side. But both sides clear. There we go. So your neck belongs arched. In this position is where we know your spine will last the longest. So everything I do on the table is to make your spine supple with the intent of restoring this arch in your neck. If you had the arch in your neck, you wouldn't have jaw pain. You wouldn't have shoulder tension. Yeah, I knew Those my jaw pain was from something. <laughs> it's always on this side too. Mm. Pretty quickly, right there. Is it purple? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. It's gotta be cleaned out. It's your souvenir to go home with. Look what he did to me. I've actually been looking forward to like just getting everything on my back mm -hmm. like that. So mm -hmm. this is it's good. Yeah, right there. Right there. Mm-hmm. So like I said earlier, the jaw joint, the temporomandibular joint, gets jammed when the head is forward. So when you open and shut, it'll click because the joint's sort of grinding up on itself. Yeah, it's like so. a pop from here. Mm -hmm. So we have to get the head back in order to ultimately address the TMJ. can drive out the lactic acid by just comb, by working the tissue, massaging. It just takes longer. Does that make sense? And I know yeah. it just doesn't, we don't need to. It's not worth it. To right. Do that. Put a giant, giant mark on my face. Yeah, I don't want that either. <laughs> right. This, this tap will be don't mark up our face. That's so intense. Yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah. Masseter's spasm right there. So do you think this is from my shoulder? Well, neck? The, the head and neck, you got it. The head and neck, and then time spent, bent forward, seated, driving, work, falling downstairs. All of that. <laughs> All of the above <laughs> makes us round forward, which then jams this joint. Right in here. Yeah. So some of your arch, you have more arch in this foot. You notice, right? You've lost some of your pronating more. And From so you've, this one? You've lost some of the arch in your foot here. You have more arch here. I always feel like I had no arch, but do you think because of the boot, wearing the boot for so long? This foot, you have less arch. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is where I've heard it. Yes. But yeah. does that happen after injuries? Well, right, because your body's now trying. You, you'll heal in what we call antalgia. Your body goes to a less painful position. Mm -hmm. to walk in and now the, the because you're walking differently some of that arch has been so decreased it heals like incorrectly for your own right and the only way to really ad address that is to clean any of the areas that you're avoiding right if I'm gonna give me a second I'm gonna dig in here in a second <laughs> but if there's any soreness residing in here that needs to be I'm just comparing like there's a still yes there's a your shoes or something. Your sandals, maybe this is from friction on your sandals. Yeah, you wear sandals so. all the time? Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know how. Lovely, Ed. Yeah. That's intense. <laughs> like your foot's healed. I'm exaggerating like this. Does it make sense? Your yeah, foot's so healed like that. I've always walked you wanna... inwards, so mm -hmm. I, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You wanna... want your foot to heal in the same position. And... I'm just scanning here. Oh, like almost every area you talk, like you were touching, it all was really, really bruised for a long time. <sighs> And I couldn't like be off my feet for too long, so I'm sure that didn't help with the healing. See the the boot. We will say the main reason we put casts or boots on is to prevent a repeated injury. You understand? Mm -hmm. 
after a few weeks, it's actually better to not have casting on. Yeah, only have the wrap uh -huh. or like uh, the, the the sleeve that you put on it, and then you just wrap up the top okay. of the ankle. And you had some range of motion. Yeah, yeah, I had those, but like it only helps you so much. Right. There's a lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The foot's also notorious for poor circulation. It's oh, one of the yeah. farthest from the heart, and so more than any other part of the body, we have to participate. Yeah, so get swollen so easily. Like, I might get swollen so easily. Right. Yeah. Stagnation. Yeah. Right. You know, you can't have any tender spot. There shouldn't be any. I know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. You want to work that until. There's nothing tender. What will happen is if that stays tender, mm -hmm. you'll subconsciously walk differently to avoid that, to avoid wow. that tender spot. Yeah, that right? makes sense. And now you have different pressure points. Now you have other areas that are being affected by, being it. Affected by the avoidance. Yeah, like right here. Mm -hmm. And I broke the bottom of my heel too, so like the, all that, yeah, it's pretty affected. I'm, I'm gonna check. Let me check this side off. I'm gonna yeah. compare. Like it cracks a lot when I walk, especially if uh -huh. I go down the stairs. It like doesn't stop popping. Let me compare this side here. Uh huh. Yeah. So when I fell, I landed on this one, but this is the one that broke. Uh huh. So they're both kind of. Hold yourself above the table. Yeah, hold yourself there a little bit. Mm -hmm. oh. oh my. That was so intense. <laughs> wow. Oh, I definitely that was that. glued. Wow. That it was, healed yeah. with some adhesions and glue in there. Yeah. I couldn't get it to move that. That's about as hard as I can <laughs> push on that. No, it, wow. Mm. It needed a. Cause I, I like crack it all day long because it comes. I know, I know. I know, I see it, I see it. This mm. is the. Right there. Mm -hmm. All right, 10 more seconds. It's okay, you can do it. Oh. You have to do it, it's okay. All right, all right. All right, we got to move. Feel bad. First time work done in my the mo the movement of the tissue is what keeps everything clean internally. So mm -hmm. me keeps it from being sore, tender. When get that injured, spot they, that you right? Do double on that yes. One, it's like, oh. Yeah, right there. Yep. Yeah. It's right over the brazier. Mm. So it's been an area that's been bound, and we have to teach you how to participate in keeping this area moving. Do you think that that's because of the bra? Yes, ma'am. Like, oh. Yeah, yeah. Because it just continuously just gets, like, rubbed on? Bra means brassiere, which means brace. You're wearing a brace around your middle back, which prevents this area from moving, kind of like a fulcrum, huh. right? The fulcrum doesn't move. The areas above and below do all the movement, like a seesaw. The middle part yeah. doesn't move at all. Yeah. The, the end points on either end have all the bending. So this becomes the fulcrum. This doesn't I move. I didn't know something that was that bad. I don't know why. Right, you feel the difference in the left's yeah. not as bad on the, on the right. Yeah, it's so Oh, bad. yeah. 
there. And so we have to get sort of the, the, get the soreness out of here and then we can start teaching you to stretch on your back using your body weight to just arch your body back and mm -hmm. sink in. I have those chirp mm -hmm. wheels, but they're so painful I can never really like, properly do them. Probably right. because of how tight my right. back is. Right. We gotta get your spine moving, get yeah. the tissue clean, and then the stretching becomes a, a retainer that can be used to keep your spine clean. Okay. There you go. All right. A little deeper. Right there. Right there. That little click there. Yeah. Oh, that feels great, Ed. <laughs> A lot of water today. <laughs> All this <laughs> to to right, wash it to all to out. Rinse it all out. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I'll come back to that. Yeah. These are the roots of your neck, so the more forward the head goes, the more the trunk of the tree leans over and the roots on the opposite side lift up. Huh. So you can't, you can try to push down the roots, but if the tree keeps on leaning over, the roots keep on lifting up out of the ground. So the pain from my right shoulder is from my left side of my neck? The head, you got it, very good. Oh. So the head being forward, right, lifts all this up. Sorry. <laughs> if I start seeing any movement of the hands, it might try to whack me. No. Get out of there! What are you doing? I knew it was gonna be painful. Okay. I was wondering what those balls at the top are. Like, is that muscle or is it just scar tissue? Both. Yeah, they're. Spasm muscle from posture, uh -huh. and then you know, when you when you have an injury, the spasm muscle won't get injured. Right next to the spasm muscle is where the muscle gets injured. You know, at a young age, we should have been taught to value our posture. Yeah, our world just sort of said, "Let's just wing it and hope we make it." <laughs> People tell you guys to sit straight, but it's so uncomfortable, so you never properly do it all the time. Right. Right there. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Put it down there for me. Well, that one's more intense. Mm-hmm. This one, I barely felt anything. Mm -hmm. The back part of your spine has a lot more feeling than the front side, and this is why when you see somebody aging, typically they round forward yeah, I... to put all the weight on the non-sensitive front side. This creates more and more muscular work because the body's essentially falling over all the time. And then the muscles get so tight all the time that people mm -hmm. want to work on the muscles, and I go, it's all silly and if you don't just fix the posture. If we get the body upright, the muscles won't be tight. So one thing leads to another. Right. And then once you deal with the postural tightness, usually the only thing left is then any type of injury tightness. So guarding of falling down some stairs. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, at the same time you busted the ankle, probably injured some ribs, <laughs> probably injured some joints in your back, right? And so... It's like I fell straight on and I... I don't remember hurting anything else aside from like my legs and like you know falling on my arms, but aside from that. Okay. Well, even the arms. If you if you land hitting the arms, the force goes up your arm yeah. and ends right here, 
And so even some of this tenderness on your left upper side, this can be from these oh, joints yeah, right on this left side. I, I, took a, I took a gamble, I'd say you landed more on your, on left, your left arm. Probably. Shoved some force up to these rib heads and then these got all jammed. Sort of a left upper tightness and then a right lower tightness. So she's got two, kind of one crosses over the other. So whatever gets injured when you fall, or even gets jolted, you understand, or, mm -hmm. you know, I know it wasn't your chief complaint when you fell, but this joint, I would say this here, and then your left upper got the most injured and then tightened down. Yeah, whenever I would have to be on the bedrooms, it would really hurt. Uh -huh. Oh, right there. yeah. It's like such a good pain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should be able to do this and nothing happens, as I said earlier. Like up there, I don't feel anything on the bottom, is where I felt it. Right here, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. You'll tell me where the mark comes out. You'll go, and go a little bit lower. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's the spot. <laughs> is anything coming out on top? A little bit. A little bit here on the shoulder. A little bit of the roots here. This is your rotator cuff. This is infraspinatus. Right, lower, left, upper. Like right in here. Yeah, I'd say this left whole upper quadrant here got jammed. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like the most painful part of my body is like the back of my gut. Yeah. Right yes. I thought the the hamstrings would be more, but the cat is <laughs> it's very intense. <gasps> Bottom, that was painful. Right there, yeah. Yeah. There. Whoa, there it is. Yeah. Let's sort of see that. Yeah. <sighs> All right. That has been that painful for so many months. Oh, All right. wow. All right, come on. Is that all scar tissue? Definitely not the original tissue. Oh my god. That's your that's that left upper side there. And then there's some of that right lower. Yeah. Your favorite tool, here we go. <laughs> uh -huh. There you go. There we go. Breathe, there you go. There we go. Uh -huh. I gotcha. 
exhale. Nice. We got some more to do. Here we go. Exhale. Okay, good. Okay. I once sprained this wrist, it's so like the, and this uh -huh. thumb. Uh-huh. Yeah, like that. And it, I could crack all of them, like, mm. well, not right now, but. <laughs> <laughs> not with you watching. <laughs> yeah, I like, got a little nervous. Oh. That one I feel pain on the top though, like right where uh -huh. your fingers were. Right, we want to work that. You want to be able to any area that's tender. Yeah, it's like capitate lunate here. Yeah, that. These two here need to be. I was thinking of that. <laughs> Dash, Dash, just press plus to you. Okay. Yes, you got it. Just press back a little bit. It's okay. Just feeling. It's okay. It's okay. Just check. Okay. Go ahead, so cute. <laughs> Go ahead and press back. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Go ahead, just a little bit to the right. There you go. There you go. Oh my god! Like, don't do it again. That was so weird. Oh my gosh! It's like when you get bubble wrap and you got good yes. like the envelopes, the Amazon ones. You get, you know? Oh my god! What? That was wild. Feel the top of the hole. You're good, you're good. All right, let's get the top here. Try leaning Same again? Same thing, tilt a little bit. I heard that one. <laughs> Such a weird feeling. <laughs> All right, just a little bit to the left, Mommy. There we go, good, you do good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Your ring's on my head. It's okay. okay. Right. Tilt a little bit to the, there we go. One second, tilt a little bit. Sorry. It's a little stuck, yeah? Yeah. It's yeah, a little bit. Okay, I don't mess with your exam. <laughs> now this one's just, I don't know why, I think I slept wrong on it and it started- A little sore. Yeah. Yeah. But that was wild. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Honestly, this feels so much better than when I did it by myself. Well, I've got you nice and loosened up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, exactly. The goal is time. We want to get to 20 minutes, so- You have to leave your- I don't mind. Minutes. Right. Well, and you move around. Oh, wow. So you do maybe one minute at the top. So yeah. roll back the way, come back here. And then stop right there and stay here for a second, okay? Yeah. But what I'm saying is you put something behind your head so that you don't overwhelm yourself and you can get to 20 minutes without yeah. killing yourself. Time is more important than the depth. So we first get the time in and then we can worry about going at a deep level. Yeah. And this is the only way to really address that jaw pain. Let me give me one second, I'll see if I can. Wait, this is gonna help my jaw pain? Getting your chest in How? helps to bring the head back. That makes sense? Yeah. If the head's forward, it's also because the chest is back. So we gotta push this in mm -hmm. to get the head back and that's gonna relieve the TMJ. So your ear's supposed to be over your shoulder. The more the head goes forward, the more the jaw gets jammed. That muscle right there yeah. pulls the jaw and retracts it back. So we have to get the head back. In order to bring the head back, we gotta push the chest in and then also draw the head back at the same time. So 
to get you upright, right? And then when you're at home, when you're relaxing, you want to be working on not an opening creating, up. right? You want to lessen the debt by spending time on your belly, you know, not always spending time on the couch. Like you that, because then you're forward. forward. You have to it just feeds it and we're never gonna, so it's, it's more than just an adjustment, it's a lifestyle. We have to teach you how to reduce the debts, you know, the amount of time mm -hmm. you spend either at work or school or life or bent forward. Mm -hmm. Your body resides in that position and wants to stay there. So we have to counter stretch you. In order to counter stretch, we have to get you loosened up yeah. and then we can take you back and then mm -hmm. hold you there. And you did great today. First adjustment, I mean, that's a lot for a first visit, like to sort of oh, that was great. see how, you know, <laughs> I would be trying to work on, yeah, I feel like you, Like here yes. and on the outside, right? Yes. this was so painful right here, wherever. I feel like your, I feel like your foot wants to spend too much time like that. Yeah. You have exactly. to work on stretching this and then this is all torn on the outside. So we want to, I mean, they'd have the kinesio tape. Their idea would be to tape this side up, right? Yeah, I've tape, had that And then you tape up. that up to prevent external rotation. You know, mm -hmm. but I feel like my feet are rotation. inwards and they're pretty flat, aren't they? Right. It's part of it also is because you injured your heel, mm -hmm. your weight's going to your toes. Because there's too much weight on your toes, your arch is dropping. This is tight. It's we gotta, all. We got to get your ankle. We got to get your heel healed. Heel healed, <laughs> so that you're not walking too much on your toes because you're avoiding. Yeah, it was here. This whole right. thing here. And now you're probably shifting your weight. Differently. Differently because there's an injury in there and you have to work the side of the heel, get that bone to not be so tender so that you're mm -hmm. more apt to walk on it so you're not in avoidance and now you have these compensatory pains. Well, that oh. felt really good though. Oh. I feel like I needed that even though it was like intense. It was good.